it's Denise. Um, this is a little bit different than my usual videos. Usually I do unboxings and I usually tend to stay away from specific healthcare products or medications, whether over the counter or otherwise. I mean, I'm open about discussing my health. If you've watched my videos, you'll know that I had weight loss surgery about a year and a half ago and I lost from my highest weight, I've lost about 110 pounds um, and have been maintaining that uh, for about a year now. And you know, that that's not a secret. I, I kind of sometimes will just mention that in videos. And one of the things that I've mentioned, I believe in a day that I was talking about what it's like for me to organize, because I do have, I do have health issues. Um, not because of the weight loss surgery, but I had a spinal cord injury and I have asthma and I have migraines and I, um, so it's just easier for me to use a, one of those weekly medication organizers. So in talking about that, I think I have shown the patches that I use, the multivitamins I use. I've been using these for almost two years because I started using them in the months leading up to my surgery. So probably like March will be actually, it's the end of November. So I would say March is when I started using them two years ago. Um, I'm I know I'm blocking. If I turn, if I turn, forgive the sock on my hand. I, I guess I thought I was getting away with that. I know that's obnoxious, but I want you to be able to see this. Um, we're going to ignore it. I have a, a skin irritation here and it's holding a bandage on. You don't need any more de details than that. Um, because I can't have adhesive on. The irritation was caused by adhesive from a band previous bandage. So, and I'm not cutting the sock in half. So anyway, I've been taking, it's a patch and just like a nicotine patch. Um, it's just a small white patch. Uh, they come 30 in a pack. I order them directly from the company Patch MD. There is another company that makes them and is very similar. And I actually did order them by accident from that company once. And I think they were pretty much identical in terms of the uh, the ingredients. Now, keep in mind these are recommend these were recommended to me as someone who has had weight loss surgery and therefore requires probably more vitamin supplementation and mineral supplementation than the average person because obviously uh, you know you're on a restricted diet especially during the weight loss phase like I said I've been in the weight maintenance phase for quite a while but there's still a lot of foods I don't eat can't eat and by can't I, I don't mean not allowed I mean I just don't digest them well anymore so you know it makes me me physically uncomfortable eating them. So this just helps make sure that there are no holes in my uh, dietary needs. So super happy with these. Uh, I've mentioned before when I talked kind of about weight loss and my weight loss journey and stuff that I was, and I was skeptical because usually if something looks too easy and sounds too good, you know, it may not really be that good. And I had looked at the options for people who, if you're having weight loss surgery, there was this long list of pills that you needed to take, like two chewable multivitamins a day, because remember your tiny little stomach does not like swallowing, you know, you swallowing those large pills. It can be enough to make you vomit. Um, two multivitamins, chewables throughout the day, two or three calcium chewables throughout the day, vitamin uh, D, which I was already vitamin D deficient and on vi prescription vitamin D prior to the whole weight loss thing, just because almost everybody in my family, that just seems to be a thing. Um, so I've had problems in the past with iron deficiency. I don't absorb iron well. I've also met, gotten into that in more detail, so I'm not going to bore you with it. But let's just say I don't absorb iron pills. 
I could eat all the iron pills I want, even the prescription ones, um, and it's not going to increase my, my blood iron level or my hemoglobin. That's not just my opinion. I was worked up by a hematologist. It's a fact. These, I absorb the iron through my skin that I cannot absorb through my GI tract by a, via uh, iron tablets. And when you look at the cost and the fact that it's like a part-time job to try to get all those supplements in after you've had weight loss surgery, the idea to me that it was like, okay, here's this, this list of all these pills and you have to try to fit them in around and not have yourself feel full because remember, especially right after your surgery, you get full so easy on, you know, your stomach has such a small capacity. You're trying to work this around your meals, you know, and some, most vitamins absorb, if they're absorbing through your GI tract, they absorb better with food, which is very hard to do when your stomach has such a small capacity that you can't really take the vitamins when you're eating. Um, when I was presented with that whole, you know, like I said, part-time job, as opposed to stick one of these on your skin eight hours a day, you know, stick it on in the morning, take it off in the evening, and it takes the place of all of those other things, my first thought was like, whoa, it's going to be really expensive. And no, it's not really expensive. My doctor's office sells them for $15 in the office. And the normal price on, if you just buy one pack, if you go on um, Patch MD and buy one pack, they're $20. Now, if you, like me, subscribe, and I get them now, like I have a subscription so that every three months they send me three packs, they're a little under $10 a pack. So I'm getting them for less than half price and less than I could get them at the doctor's office, which was already discounted. Um, by getting them, by subscribing. No, I'm going to take these for the rest of my life. So it's not like I'm subscribing to something I'm not going to use. I use one every single day. My blood work has been fabulous. Like I said, I've been on them for almost two years. I haven't taken, I don't take oral vitamins at all anymore. Not the D3, um, no multivitamin, nothing. This is the only type of vitamin supplement I take and it has worked perfectly for me. Now there's no guarantee it's going to work perfectly for you. I'm not here to, I feel ridiculous with the sock on my hand. I'm not here to tell you to change what you're doing without speaking to your healthcare provider. But again, you know, you can, if you want, you know, screenshot or whatever so that you can show them what is in these and see if they are comfortable with that. My dietitian and my surgeon both told me that they have had excellent results. Most of their patients do super on these, and that's why they started selling them in the office, to make sure that their patients would see them as an easy-to-obtain option. And because they were buying them directly from the company, they were getting a discount because as a professional selling them in their office, which of course... You know, any company wants a doctor selling their practice, you know, selling their item right in their office. It, you know, lends credibility to the to the item. So instead of $20 from the website, I was getting it for $15 at the office. And then when I found out that if I did it as a subscription from the website, it was even cheaper. So, yes, for two years I've been using these. And I really, even though they're, they are wonderful and I plan on continuing using them forever. Um, and like I said, with the prescription, that brings them down to more like $10 a month. With the, the, you know, every three months, I have them send me a three-month supply. Best way to go, best price you can get on them. Recently, now I have been taking melatonin. I have trouble sleeping. I have two sleep disorders. I have periodic limb movements of sleep, and I have restless leg syndrome. They both can cause you to have trouble falling asleep, and then... Additionally, they cause you, once you have fallen asleep, to move a lot in your sleep, which constantly interrupts your sleep, 
uh, what they call partial awakenings, and that leads to not enough REM sleep, which leads to I could spend 10 hours in bed every night, but only really feel as rested as somebody who slept for maybe three or four hours. So I'm on medication to treat the two sleep disorders, which are things that were confirmed by a sleep specialist by doing the whole overnight, you know, sleep studies where they hook you up to more wires and probes than you can imagine. Not probes in the like aliens are probing you sense, but you know, oxygen sensors. You know, if you've ever had a sleep study, you know how involved it is. And if you haven't, trust me, it's it's involved. Uh, you know, they are making sure of what what they're doing before they diagnose you with a sleep disorder. And so in addition to the prescription medicine to help treat the symptoms of the restless legs and the periodic limb movements of sleep, I also happen, probably from years of not sleeping well, just developed plain old insomnia. I have trouble falling asleep. I have trouble getting my mind to slow down when it's time to go to sleep which is not uncommon, especially when people are under stress, as a lot of us have been. I mean, let's face it, 2020 hasn't been easy on anybody. Um, 2019 wasn't much better for me. Uh, you know, I let, my father became terminally ill and then passed away on actually January 1st of 2020. So, you know, yeah, stress. And then, you know, the whole COVID thing. Um, so I had been taking melatonin pills, you know, just over the counter melatonin to try to help me, like say a half hour before I was actually getting ready to go to bed. Now the meds I take that treat the prescription medication, I should say that treats the actual documented sleep disorders, I'm supposed to take an hour before I want to go to sleep so that it's working before I lay down. And just to help to try to slow down the mind part, you know, to get that when you lie down and all of a sudden your brain wants to think about, you know, like, gee, did I remember to, to pay the electric bill? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, well, let me, let me replay in my head the conversation I had with my mother that I, uh, you know, was upset about because we had an argument. You know, every possible thing that is not going to help you rest suddenly wants to be at the forefront of your mind when you're trying to go to sleep. If you have a brain like me that likes to do that, once you've turned off the lights and sprayed your, you know, relaxing aroma and, you know, done every other good sleep hygiene thing that you're supposed to do habit-wise to help you sleep better, um, you know, and you still, your brain just doesn't want to cooperate. I mean, I do meditation. I treat the underlying sleep disorders with a sleep specialist with prescription medication. So I was taking melatonin and it was helping. I would say it was helping, but was it great? Was it super effective? No. So the last time I placed an order for my, um, for my, when I actually set up going on the subscription, when I realized how much it cost, it cut the cost for my vitamins, that it, you know, it went from $20 to a little under $10 a pack. And remember, a pack is a one month supply, it's 30 patches, which is way cheaper, by the way, than buying all those vitamins separately. You know, to me, it's like, it's more convenient, it works better, and it's cheaper. Like, blew my mind. So yes, for me, it works better and it is cheaper and it is more convenient. I mean, stick the patch on, you take the patch, eight hours later, you take the patch off. And if you forget, like with me, like I said, I put it on in the morning when I take my morning meds, take it off at night when I take my night meds. So it's probably more like 12 hours I leave it on. It doesn't hurt you to leave it on those extra hours it's kind of done its thing. It's released the vitamins over the eight hours. It's not hurting you if you leave it on. It's not going to hurt you if you forget and take it off in the morning. But anyway, so when I set, when I made my last order 
um, I want to say almost three weeks ago, I decided to, tr to try these. It's a patch, obviously, Patch MD, same company, and it, it has melatonin, but it also has some additional ingredients, which I'm hoping if I hold them up here, you can get a good look at. I'll just hold that there for a minute. Again, you know, so if you want a screenshot or you want to just take a moment there to read it and see what's in it. And I just wanted to compare, you know, for my own, I only bought the one pack, um, which means I, f I paid full price for it. And I wanted to see, did this work better for me than the melatonin pills? And within two days of using it, I had no question. It works better. Um, I seem to feel my mind just not, I don't feel sedated. It's not like if I needed to get up, like if there was something urgent, all of a sudden I needed to get up that I, that I'm like drugged feeling. It, it's nothing like that. I mean, if you've taken melatonin, you know, that's, that's not what it is. It's, I mean, melatonin is something your body produces naturally. This also adds some other herbs um, and some magnesium, which is associated with good sleep and with muscle relaxation and is also associated with helping treat migraines. So as someone with migraines, taking a little extra magnesium wasn't a bad idea. Um, but again, I was like, okay, I'm just going to order the one pack. I'm just going to try them and see if I notice a difference. Because you can get melatonin pills pretty inexpensively. So I didn't want to buy a bunch of these if there wasn't going to be a difference. But like like I said, within two days, I was like, no, these are definitely di better than just taking the melatonin pills that I've been taking for probably a few years at least. Um, I called Patch MD and I got a customer service person who was lovely. And I explained to her that I wanted to coordinate so that the shipping wouldn't be separate. I wanted to set up a subscription so that I would get the price break um, so that I'll get three months worth of these sent at the same time when I get the next three months worth of my multivitamins. But it's the end of November and I won't get my next three month order of my multivitamins till February. And once I realized how much better I liked these, I was like, oh, now I'm sad because I'm not going to have these. You know, I only have about a week's worth left and I'm not going to have them. I'm going to, you know, have to go back to just using the regular melatonin, which doesn't work as well for me. What do you know? I got an email today from Patch MD. They're having a 50%, you know, they're having a BOGO, a real BOGO. Buy one, get one free. Um, as opposed to those, you know, semi-bogos, like a buy one, get one 50% off. Um, so they're, they were having a, a BOGO, and I was like, okay, um, rather than sucking it up and using the, um, the melatonin that doesn't work as well for me, I'm going to go ahead, being that I know I can get these half price, and I ordered two packs, therefore I'm only paying for one pack, to hold me over until my subscription kicks in. So very happy with that. And because of how happy I am with these, I went ahead and ordered one other product. And I ordered two of them just because it was a BOGO. So hey, I would have been paying the same price if I ordered one as I was paying ordering two. And that is their, um, basically it's for menopause. It's for nighttime relief for people if you have like hot flashes or night sweats. I've been dealing with hot flashes. I'm like blankets on, blankets off all night. I've been that way for like five years at least. So, excuse me. Um, I decided, I read the ingredients. Black cohosh was on there, which is an herb that has been recommended for hot flashes for as long as I can remember. There's also B vitamins. Um, I forget some of the other, uh, herbs that were in there. Shame on me. I should have taken like a screenshot so I could have shown it to you. 
But anyway, I ordered two packs, like I said, because it was a buy one, get one free. So there's no, it didn't make any sense to order one pack, especially because if I liked them, then I'd have been kicking myself for only getting one pack when I could have gotten the second pack for free anyway. So I ordered these to hold me over and I ordered the menopause ones and I'm going to see if they help. So like I said, I'm not telling anyone to change their medication, whether it's over the counter or otherwise without talking to your healthcare provider unless, you know, or without doing your own research to the point that you are comfortable with making that change. But for me personally, first I found how effective those, those vitamins have been. And that's like, we're talking in, like I said, in March, that'll be two years I'm on them and they have proven to be more effective than oral vitamins for me. Um, then when I started these about, again, two and a half, three weeks ago, yeah, because I've got about a week's worth left, which started to make me sad. <laughs> when I was like, I have to go back to taking the melatonin soon because I'm going to run out of these. I need to order these. Um, and then when I saw the BOGO, it was like, okay, no brainer. I'm ordering two packs of them and that'll hold me over basically till my subscription kicks in, which... Like I said, I coordinated with my vitamin one to keep the cost down because then I won't pay extra shipping because they'll ship together. And the person, the customer service person on the phone understood exactly what I wanted, you know, that I wasn't placing an order for them then, that I wanted her to coordinate the order with my subscription that I had already set up for the multivitamins so that they would ship together and I wouldn't be charged additional shipping. shipping. And she set that up for me right while we were on the phone and confirmed that it was set up. So their customer service on the phone is, they're really good. Um, I've never had a problem as far as not like, not receiving an order, but when you have a question or something like what I was doing that you really can't work out for yourself on the website, I find that their customer service people on the phone are, are wonderful. They also, now I've never had to use it myself, but they do have a money back guarantee that if you don't find the product works for you, that they say they will give you your money back. Now, I have been perfectly satisfied with everything I've gotten from them, so I have never had to test that. But considering how good their customer service is otherwise, I feel pretty confident. Like, just say I get these... Um, the menopause ones and just say they don't help with the hot flashes, I absolutely will say, hey, these aren't working for me and I would like my money back. And we'll see how that goes. Like I said, based on their customer service on everything else, I don't anticipate that there would be a problem. It's right on their website. If it doesn't work for you, it's on us. You know, something to that effect is how they have it worded. That if it, you know, if you don't find the product effective, that they will give you your money back. So I feel confident ordering a new product from them, especially now that I've used not just the multivitamins, but I've been using these for almost a month. And they're better for me personally than melatonin pills. So... Again, I know this isn't my usual video. I don't not usually want to tell you what to do with your health. Um, usually I'm more of just an advocate for health conditions and people with disabilities and kind of educating people about disabilities and especially invisible disabilities. But I just kind of was so happy with these and felt that they made such a difference in my quality of sleep without giving me any sort of drugged or sedated feeling. Just they help my mind slow down and get ready for sleep, which your head is supposed to do. Some of us just have a head that doesn't want to cooperate. So I definitely did not want to have to wait till February when my subscription would start and the BOGO was my perfect reason to, to order them and not wait and make myself use the inferior, you know, just plain mel melatonin pills. And I felt like I wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like if something helps me, why wouldn't I share that information with you? And like I said, I'm not trying to be anybody's doctor, but 
if it helps me and it could help you, I would at least like to give you the information so that you could look into it. Again, you can see the company is PatchMD. The website is PatchMD.com. And they have a variety of different patches um, for different things. Whether you're someone who's very athletic, whether you're someone who has specific dietary needs, whether it's just you just want a calcium and vitamin D supplement. You just want an iron supplement. You're someone like me who had weight loss surgery and needs that multivitamin plus supplement. They have, um, I was looking at, they have a patch that's supposed to be to help with mental focus. Um, I don't like changing too many things in my healthcare regimen at one time. So, you know, I don't believe in adding five different things at once because then if things go right or wrong, you don't know which one is helping or which one's causing the problem. So I know these agree with me now. They work well for me. I feel comfortable now ordering the menopause ones. And like I said, we'll see. Hopefully, maybe that'll be the first thing that actually works and I can stop being blankets on, blankets off all night. Especially because, like, in the winter now, when you kick my, like, what do I have on me? I'm lying on top of a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, and a fuzzy comforter. But on top of me is just a thin, like, summer weight comforter, a fleece blanket, a nice medium weight quilt, and an additional, like, more medium, heavier weight comforter. So I've got four layers on top of me. Um, and if you're half asleep and have a hot flash and flip them off and you start to fall asleep, you then wake up freezing because you fell asleep without putting them back on once the hot flash was over. You know, and if you're waking up all night doing this, that happens. If you're someone who isn't going through hot flashes yet or God bless you, you went through menopause without them, you are a lucky woman. Um, but as someone who's been dealing with them for years and blankets on, blankets off is part of my every night, if there's something that can help, I want to at least give it a try. And I have tried just the black cohosh, you know, they sell it at pretty much any health food store sells it. And it's probably the most commonly recommended hot flash natural remedy. I will not take Premarin, the prescription drug. It is, and yes, I'm getting up on my soapbox, Premarin is made, as the name breaks down to, Premarin is made from pregnant, oh God, pregnant mare urine. Yes, mares, pregnant mares, horses, are tied to a wall for basically their entire life. Horses are pregnant for 11 months, and once they're pregnant, the hormones in their urine goes up. They have a urine collector attached to their body where they are chained to a wall where they can't even lie down or walk around so that their urine is collected and Premarin is made from it. As someone who does not believe that is okay to do to a living creature, I would rather be blankets on, blankets off my whole life before you could pay me to take a drug that is created by abusing animals. Now, maybe you don't feel that strongly about it, but I do. And I'm a horse person. You may know from my previous videos, I had to rehome my horses last year because of my health problems and the financial problems that come along with becoming disabled after you've had a good career where you were able to support your horses. Luckily, I found wonderful homes for my horses, uh, forever, home, forever homes, where they are guaranteed a forever home with a sanctuary. Um, but Premarin is evil. No amount of relief that it might give me would be worth what my conscience would feel knowing how it's produced. And do you know how you keep a mare pregnant and producing that all the time? 
as soon as their baby is born, you take it away. And most of those babies are sold at auction for meat. And that's the God's honest truth. So these mares are force bred so that they become pregnant, chained to a wall, your urine forcibly collected. They have no life, no love. As soon as they give birth, the baby's taken away so they can immediately be rebred, which isn't even healthy for their body. They are treated as a factory. They are not treated as a living thing. So I will not take Premarin. And if you care about animals, you should not take it either. Um, I just add that in case you're not aware that that's where it comes from and you're on it. And now that you are aware, hopefully your conscience will tell you that you shouldn't be on it. No one should be on it. It should be illegal. The use of it has gone down greatly over the years as more and more people have said no to the abuse of animals that goes into it. But like I said, I'm going to try Patch MDs. Uh, you know, this is again, this is the, the sleep one, which I now know works for me. I just, just before making this video, ordered their, they have a day and a night menopause patch. I'm not sure what I would need the day patch for because I don't really have menopause symptoms that bother me during the day. So I just ordered the nighttime one. And like I said, it was a BOGO, so I ordered two months worth, which gives me time that if I find it something that works for me, I'm not holding out a lot of hope. Like I said, I've tried the black cohosh. It didn't do anything. But vitamins and things that didn't work for me by mouth work for me obviously better absorbed through my skin. So I want to be hopeful, and maybe it will work. Maybe I won't be the blankets off, blankets on queen. And anyone who tells you that that, that that only lasts for a year, they're just trying to make you feel better when it's starting. I knew women who went through this for like 20 years. I'm 52. I've been going through it since I was about, I stopped getting my period at around 48. And I started getting the hot flashes as my periods were becoming irregular. So even before they fully stopped. So I've been dealing with this for years, and it has not gone away. And according to plenty of women I've known, including relatives, don't plan on it going away anytime soon. So if I can find something as simple as a patch that I put on, you know, before bed, that would be super. And by buying, getting the two packs on the BOGO, I can then set up the next one, again, to avoid the extra shipping charge. And when you order something on a, on a subscription that you're going to get as an ongoing basis, dramatically reduces the cost. Like I said, instead of $20 a pack for the, the vitamins, I'm paying under $10 a pack by having them delivered every three months on a schedule. So please, if you think this is something that would interest you or you know someone who it might interest, check out PatchMD. Do your own research, discuss it with your healthcare provider. Um, like I said, I'm nobody's doctor. I'm not pretending to be anybody's doctor. I was a nurse for 26 years, so I do feel confident doing my own research. And the patch was recommended by my by both my dietitian and my weight loss surgeon in terms of the multivitamin patch. And they turned out to be right. It was perfect for me, and my blood work proved that. I did not become anemic, which is, has been an issue for me lifelong. I did not become vitamin D3 deficient, which I was if I wasn't taking prescription strength levels of vitamin D3. Um, so definitely the patch absorbs, my body absorbs it better through a patch than it does through a pill. And the fact that it's cheaper than buying all those supplements. To me, it's a no-brainer. But again, I was a nurse for 26 years. I felt confident in my ability to do my own research. And again, with stuff that you don't need a prescription for any of these things, the, the multivitamin, 
any of the patches that they sell on Patch MD. You do not need a prescription. Um, you know, it would just be like going into the pharmacy or the health food store and buying supplements or vitamins. If that's something you're comfortable doing on your own research, you know, and something that you've been doing, go for it. If it's something you're not comfortable doing without consulting your doctor, and if you're on a lot of prescription meds, there can always be interactions. You probably should consult your doctor before changing any supplements that you take. Run it by them. What's in it? You know, check it out. Do your research. Run it by them if you, you know, want to do that. If you feel comfortable, you know, if you doing that. And again, I'm not usually one to promote any sort of medication or supplement. But I feel strongly enough about these because of the benefit that I personally have gotten that I did want to share it. And after I try the menopause ones, I'll let you know whether or not they worked for me. And if they don't work for me, I will let you know about how the refund works. So it might take a little while before that video comes because obviously I have to give them a chance to work. And if they don't work, if they do work, awesome. I'm hoping they work. Um, if they don't work and I want to say to the company, hey, I'm, you know, put your money where your mouth is. This product didn't work for me. I would like a refund. I will let you know how that goes because customer service is every bit as important as the product. Because if there's a problem with an order, it doesn't matter how good the product is if the customer service stinks. I can tell you, my like I said, my customer service with them over the phone, they are pleasant, they are helpful, they're not idiots, they understand what you're saying you want, they do it for you, you know, in the computer system right while they have you on the phone so there's no confusion that it's been set up properly, and then you can log in and see that it's been set up properly, and um, again, I've been dealing with this company for almost two years, I'm not affiliated, I just, I just always feel like I should make that clear when I'm speaking highly of a company. I'm not affiliated. Um, I pay full price. You know, I pay what you would pay if you were ordering them. But I did feel like I now feel strongly enough about these products that I felt like I should come out and, and share that information. So I hope you found this useful, especially if you're someone who has been on a weight loss journey like me and needs to take you know, vitamins and supplements, or maybe you just have some sort of vitamin or mineral deficiency and you're on supplements, this might be an easier option for you, especially things like iron that upset your stomach. And in my case, my body could not absorb them anyway. They upset my stomach plenty, but they did not absorb and increase my iron levels. Um, a patch approach, having it absorbed through your skin, just worked better for me and apparently according to my doctor's office it works better for a lot of people they've had a lot of success I feel like I've talked forever I thought this would be a 10 minute video but again I guess when I'm trying to cover three separate products and explain to you the pros and cons um, the only con would be no I've never had any sort of adverse skin reaction to the adhesive they're not waterproof uh, if you're going to shower, wait till after your shower to put the patch on. Um, like I just took a bath. I did not put my sleep patch on until after I got out of the bath because I knew I was going to be putting my patch on. I knew I was going to be taking a bath. They're not waterproof. So just, you know, time your shower or bath before you put your patch on. And like I said, you only in the morning, I take this off. The vitamin patch, I just so happened to put it on in the morning and take it off at night. You don't have to do that. If you're someone who likes to, you know, get up in the morning and shower at some point mid-morning, it doesn't make sense to put your patch on first thing in the morning and then take a shower, which might make it fall off. You know, they tell you right on the package, they are not waterproof. Um, just day-to-day -day wear, I don't have a problem with them falling off. and. Like I was saying, I've never had a problem with any skin irritation, and, and I do have sensitive skin. I've never had a problem with skin irritation from them. That's not to say someone else might not. So, you know, 
do your research, try them if, if you feel comfortable and you think it's something that will help you. And I hope they do help you because we should all feel our best. And I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I stuck my patch on when I got out of the tub. And, uh, but I just, I felt, I felt strongly about making this video and sharing the information, especially after I just placed the order for the third product, which, like I said, I haven't tried yet. And I will review for you once I, once I try it, once I get it and I have a chance to try it. So, again, PatchMD is the name of the company. PatchMD.com is the name of the website. You do not need a prescription to order from them. Um, and like any vitamin or supplement that you would purchase, do your research. If you're on a lot of prescription medications or already on a ton of supplements, run it by your doctor or nutritionist or whoever you trust to manage those things for you. Um, personally, I did not feel the need to do that with this because I am not on a ton of medications that this would anything like this would interact with. And like I said, I was a nurse for 26 years. I know how to look up medication interactions. I'm comfortable with my ability to do that. If you're not comfortable with your ability, just ask your healthcare provider or ask your pharmacist if there would be any drug interactions. They have software that can look that up in a matter of, you know, minutes. They can look up for you very quickly, especially if you use one pharmacy for all your prescriptions. They know exactly what you're on. You say, I would like to take this supplement. Is there any contraindication with any of the medications I'm on? And they can tell you. So your pharmacist is a, another source of information. Um, Please like, subscribe, share the video, hit the notification bell. I am trying to grow my YouTube channel and I truly appreciate uh, when you take the time to subscribe, to watch my videos from the heart. I do mean it when I say I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I know you have a million options and when you take the time to watch one of my videos, I appreciate it. Um, I am trying to grow my channel and the way that happens is by people like you sharing the video, liking the video so that the YouTube algorithm will show it to more people who might be interested in the subject. So by hitting the like button or leaving a comment or hitting the notification bell or subscribing, you're making it more likely that my video will show up in somebody else's suggested videos who has, you know, watched other videos on whatever the subject is of the given video. In this case, supplements or sleep things or, you know, vitamins. So it helps get my videos out to other people who might be interested in seeing them. So I truly do appreciate if you take the time to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like the video, and, um, Again, I, tr I truly do appreciate it. Have a great night. I hope, you're, I hope you're healthy. I hope you're well. I know this has been a hard year on all of us. And let's, let's just be hopeful. Let's, let's stay healthy and let's look out for each other. And remember, in the toughest of times, sometimes the stress might make us all, you know, a little crabby. Let's remember we're all under stress. And let's be kind to each other, and we can get through this as a, as a country, as a as a as a world. We can get through this, and let's hope that 2021 is a better year for everybody. And you know, to that I say, to your health, to the health of your family, and uh, again. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope you found it informative, and I'm sorry it took so long, but I really felt like I wanted to tell you all these things about the products and about the company and about my experience with them so that you could feel comfortable dealing with them. I've been dealing with them, like I said, almost two years now, and I use the vitamin patch every single day, and since I've ordered these, I've been using them two days. I was trying to conserve them because I knew I wouldn't be getting them again until February. I switched back to using the melatonin pills. Not the same. That's why when I saw the BOGO, I went ahead and ordered them. 
Um, but again, I hope you found it helpful. And I hope if you do decide to go with them, I hope you find the products helpful. So anything you can do to help me uh, with my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate. And I know that sounds like shameless begging, and it is shameless begging. I admit it. But I just wanted to get this video made before I went to, to bed. And it was a 45 minute video, so it's going to take forever to upload. So I probably won't do it till tomorrow because I want to go to bed. I put my patch on before I started uh, recording this. And um, just be well, be safe. Let's all get through this healthy. And to me, there's no politics involved with health. I was an I was a nurse. Health and caring about people's well-being is in my soul. My mother was a nurse. My grandmother was a nurse. Um, third generation nurse here. I had to retire early, unfortunately, because of spinal cord damage. But health and well-being are in my soul. And to me, there's nothing political about it. I don't care who you voted for. I want you to be well and healthy, and I want your family to be well and healthy. And if I can suggest anything that helps with that, then uh, then I hope I did. I hope it helps you. Again, thank you, and have a great day or night or whatever time you're watching this. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, all those things that help the YouTube algorithm get my videos to people who might find them interesting and might benefit from them. I do appreciate it, and thank you.